Most Shmup fans know about the lengthy development of Natsuki Chronicles. The game's development began in 2015 and wasn't released until 2019 on Xbox One. Well, now players on additional platforms can experience this high action shmup. After playing the PlayStation 4 version, the only thing I was upset about was that I let it slip under my radar for so long. <laughs> Natsuke Chronicles is a shmup that has been clearly designed by lovers of the genre. All the pain points that you think you may have had with previous shmups have been corrected in this game's design. Telegraphed bullet patterns, progress even after a loss, and numerous ways to get further in the more challenging stages are just a few of the options available. This is all packed up in a not-so-interesting story that jumps from the past to the present. The only problem with the narrative really is that I don't speak Japanese, so I miss the end-stage dialogue between the characters and the bosses of the level. It is translated in the top right of the screen, but good luck finding a second to read it when you're avoiding waves of enemies. There are also cutscenes before each stage, and although they are more fleshed out than a typical shmup, it took me a while to understand the timeline of events and what I was fighting for. The cutscenes are a nice touch, but this is all about gameplay, and Natsuki Chronicles has everything a shmup fan could want. In story mode, your ship will gain experience points based on what you accomplish in a stage. Whether you win or lose, you will gain points. As you level up, you'll be rewarded with more weapons that you can spend currency on to develop and equip to your ship. Your ship has a main and secondary weapon along with a special weapon. The main weapon is for your frontal assault and comes in various choices such as lasers, spread shots, and homing bullets. None of them are particularly worse than the other, but you could complete the game without really even touching the weapons that you don't feel comfortable with. The secondary weapons are typically guns that shoot from behind the ship, but you can also equip bombs and homing missiles. I found that each level seemed easier with the right secondary weapon, so it may take a few runs to organize your loadout. Special weapons can be shield or a powerful attack that can take out a screen of enemies. Natsuke Chronicles is exceptionally accessible. Not only can shields be regenerated over time in a stage, but if you lose you still gain levels within the stage, which provides you with even more energy. That way the more you die in a stage, the easier it can become since you gain a new bar of life practically every time, if you get far enough. Enemies are diverse and require some trial and error to understand. Clearing the screen as quickly as possible is the best way to avoid a massive rain of bullets. Enemies come at you from all angles and have a variety of attack patterns. Scores are based on clearing out groups of them and not letting them escape. The developers included projectile lines that telegraph where you shouldn't be, but that didn't stop me from getting shot down. The game is very challenging at times, but with rewards unlocking even after a loss, it's tough to not jump back in and play more. One additional layer of customization allows you to switch between two different speeds of your choice, which can come in handy when avoiding large bullet patterns. Netsuke Chronicles is a very colorful game, but the only setback is that some of the enemies can be tough to spot, especially the smaller ones. Even when playing on PlayStation 5, I did encounter some slowdown during a couple of the high action sections. This wasn't something that typically happened though. Furthermore, the soundtrack flows well with the stage layout. Each level throws new obstacles at you that will limit any repetition that you may have with the game. Natsuke Chronicles is a great shmup that was clearly designed by fans of the genre. The game has a refinement to it that eases any pain points someone might have with other titles. The accessibilities of the system and constant rewards create a challenging but approachable experience. The only setback is a few hard to spot enemies and frame drops, but you'll probably be having too much fun to notice. Noisy Pixel is giving Natsuke Chronicles an 8.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review at NoisyPixel.net. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.